Hola, Minasan! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back for another round of freelance gaming. How y'all doing today? We're going to close out um, Retro uh, retro Console Gaming Month Part 1, the Nintendo Wing, with the magic of Shehazad for the good old NES. I have never played this before. I have no idea what to expect. And... According to how long it beats games.com, it's supposed to take eight hours to just do the main quest. So if we multiply that by uh, four, it will take me 32 hours to beat this game. <laughs> so uh, we don't have much time now, do we? Let's get started. There we go. <gasps> Glitch. Oh no, the old Nintendo glitch. Uh -oh. See, this is what I get for showing off the cartridge. There we go. <laughs> that was a merely a demonstration of uh, how old uh, the, the consoles are. <laughs> Very true, very true, Angel. That is very true. It could be a 30 minute game or it could be a 30 hour game. It all depends on the pacing of the player. Let's see. All right. Let me just get my volume up a little bit here. Okay, I don't know what slow, fast, and normal means in the grand scheme of things, so I'll just keep it on normal. Um, it looks like there is a continue feature here. I just hope it's. Well, we'll soon find out. Let's start. Enter your name. Alright, well. I don't know. There we go. Oh, I can't even fit that in there. <laughs> um, wow, it only lets me fit four letters. Dang it. Alright. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a little better. Is it rare? Um, I don't know how rare this is, actually. But it was definitely, um, pretty late. How rare is this? Hmm. No, it could be a, could be a rare game. I don't remember how much I paid for it on the market. Hmm. Well, I don't have a problem taking two seconds to look up the game eye. Game My app, everybody, is actually a pretty awesome app. Um, keep track of uh, your rare games and your your game collection. Um, doesn't seem to be a rare. Oh, okay. Yeah, it it seems to be a rare game. If you get it completely new, it's a uh, it's that um, the market value the collector's value is at 176 according to Game Eye, but since I have it loose, um, its collector's value is at 22, which is just only the cartridge alone. So uh, this came out in 1989 according to this, December 1st, 1989. So this must be, so this is definitely a rare game. I wonder if it got covered on Nintendo Power magazine. Well. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. One day, Peaceful Arabia was attacked by the demons. The evil magician Sabaron summoned them from the dark world. For his evil desire, one brave magician attempted to fight him, but he failed and... His sweetheart was taken and all his memories erased. He was even thrown into a different time period. 
like Doctor Who after the angels. Do you remember this? No, you do not. The young magician is you. For real. Only you could save Arabia. Please fight Sabaron again. I am Corona, uh, Corona, the Time Spirit. I was searching for you. Only you can help, uh, beat Hot Sabaron. Help us. No. You are kidding. No one but you can defeat Sabaron. Please come with me. No. You are kidding. No one can defeat uh, can defeat Sabaron. Please come with me. Fine. <laughs> Please select Arabian class. Oh, interesting. Um, fighter, saint, or magician? Eh, I'll go with fighter. Go punchy punchy. <laughs> That's punchy punchy. Let's get started. Chapter 1 Waterworld Maroon. Oh no, we're gonna come across Kevin Costner. Oh, you are the great magician Isfa's descendant. Welcome back to Arabia. You will depart to defeat Sabaron, won't you? No. I don't believe what you said. You are the only hope for us. Won't you go for it? No. I don't believe what you said. You are the only hope for us. Won't you go for it? Fine. Sabaron took away the great Arabian King Faisal and his four princesses. Yes, your sweetheart Princess Shahazad too. Koki, find Sabaron and defeat him. I know you could do it, I, I would, but I'm too old and feeble. You're the only hope for Arabia like Obi-Wan. You could do it. First talk to the town people, press the start button, then select speed. That's uh, quite the fourth wall break. Yes, I know, but you gotta learn somehow. And talk to people with the B button, now go, good luck. Good luck. Listen to the people of this town. I like how they're dancing. They're like... <laughs> they're dancing like uh, MC Hammer. <laughs> you can't touch this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Stop. Have a time. <laughs> yeah, he does look like um, uh, the, the main character from Doki Doki pa Panic. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> All right, we could talk to these people. Koki, you are having a hard time, aren't you? Your sweetheart princess, Shahrazad, was taken away by Sabaron in another castle. <laughs> okay, you can save Arabia like Ispa. All right, well, that wasn't enough info. Oh, do I have a, uh, is there like a map? Let's see, open, jump, rod, sword, speed, jump. Oh, jump is on A and B, interesting. Oh, there's the jump button. All right, wow. <laughs> That's a weird jump. <laughs> Snake Charmer. Mushroom restores your MP. Okay. Bread restores your HP. So, food restores, huh? Prepare for travel at the shop. Alright. Oh, this must be the shop. The music is really nice, all things considered. Dude, select the sword or the magic by the, by the start button. By the start button? I, I guess they meant by pressing the start button, but they couldn't fit pressing. Well, he's not the merchant. Buy the start button. This is the town of Mishuda. At least they're not talking a long time like today's current JRPGs do. They get a little long window. May the spirits, the blue star spirit, Irosh, the Arabian guardian deity, bless you. 
victorious to the north. Okay, I better note this. Um, I need... Sea of Stars? I have never played Sea of Stars. Mm. How good is Sea of Stars? Six months ago, how did I miss that? I usually keep my eyes on, um, on JRPGs. But did I pick up Sea of Stars? I probably don't remember. Wait, what system is that on? The uh, Sea of Stars. Because now I'm starting to think Switch here. Oh, the same thing. But I need to bless you. Okay. PC, Switch. Oh, okay. It's on the Switch. Then I probably might have it. And didn't realize it. If you are tired, rest at the hotel. All right, so here's the hotel, which is marked by the letter H. Yep. Please call me on the 10 rupees a night. Would you like to stay? No. Then get out of here. No, oh, I'm taken out to... Oh, that's probably, um... Uh, like a field, uh, battle. Mm. Ah, you stopped getting around the uh, end of the PS2. Yeah, I think the Switch is going to be my last modern console. Um, and I had scooped up some older consoles, but uh, like the Sega Master System recently. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's even worth getting like another, like getting anything. Like, Nintendo's gotta do something real special with the next console to get me to pick that up. Like, the Switch was special. Um, but PS5, another PlayStation, I don't know. I don't know. And I got the Steam, so, you know, I got all my needs. Plus, um, plus I do have the, the Xbox. Uh, unintentionally ended up getting an Xbox account uh, because of Minecraft, so I can always snag a Minecraft game off onto the PC. Spirit of the Blue Star, what brings you to my blessed mosque? Bringing life to a friend. Okay, changing class and the password. Oh, so it's a password function. Great. Great, 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 great. So this game has a password function, not a battery backup. They need to uh, re-release this game. All right, I need to find this place here. Mm. There's a demon's palace somewhere. I heard Sauron was there. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo's always a soulless corporation. There's a lot of things that, that Nintendo does that I don't like. And yet here we are. <laughs> and yet here we are. Begging Nintendo. I don't understand our relationship as fans with Nintendo. We know what they're doing is wrong, and yet we still keep going back to them. You will meet some wonderful friends. That's nice. So, the fact that I can switch classes, that means I can level up each class. Alright, listen to the people of the town. Well, I am listening to them. That's because they're a company. They're a company. They're, they're, they're not a friend. Never been. Uh, so this, then this is the shop? So then why didn't I see any shop uh, supplies? Okay, now we got it. All right. Mm, 
loan, repay, leave. Interesting. Shop. That is it, precisely. That's precisely what I'm talking about. There's something. There's something about Nintendo that keeps us. Um, that somehow keeps us going back to them when we know that they they're not they're not you know good. I don't know what this relationship we have with them. We always keep saying, "Yeah, we're not gonna buy the IPs," and then before we know, we, we give them, uh, we make them uh, uh, two hundred fifty million dollars in console sales, and and millions of uh, and millions of dollars in in uh, <laughs> software sales. It's like, what's going on here? What what, what happened to all that protesting? <laughs> are we are we doth protesting too much? <laughs> um, let's see, Brad, what's this R seed? Would you like to take it? A discount? Uh, no, no, no. Mm. But how do I fight? Um, is there no items of uh, weapons available? Yeah, I'll take one bread at least. Would you like to buy? Yes. Okay. Mm. How much is the mushroom? It costs twenty rupees. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, th that's what's so funny. We're like, we got this this weird addiction. We're like, like the amiibo. We, we say we sit there and say, yeah, we're just gonna, we just wanna buy one amiibo just to try it out because I got a favorite cat. And then before you know, it, walk out the store with like a dozen amiibo. I'm like, how the heck did we buy all this? I just wanted one amiibo. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Debt, rod, sword. Oh, you know what? Let me step outside. Um, I didn't even consider pressing buttons when I stepped outside. Let's give that a try. Alright, so is this... No map. Okay, so there is a map. Ah, oh, I got it. Oh. All right. It, wow. So the B button was set to. Okay, this is fascinating. All right. Okay, so I have to. So if I want to talk, I have to set the B button to talk. It's not automatically given. And if I want to use these uh, weapons, I have to set them. Got it. Yes, yes, you're right. It does have a uh, the Delhi Towers feel to it. There we go. All right. So uh, let me just add this to the list here. I got bread and mushroom. Bread and my shoe. And again, I'm, I'm liking the music here. It's very nice. But we're going to soon find out once I get into the combat. Um, it's very Zelda. This is definitely a Zelda, Zelda like game. It really feels like Zelda and Crystalis. I don't know, just wonder how big that map is. Oh, it's not gonna be a big map. I mean, considering the size of the game here. Mm. Info T H E. There we go. There we go. Excellent. All right. Let's see what's going on out here. <laughs> He just stands still when uh, when he's slicing up. That's cool. So to the north is um. Oh, cool! This this comes with music. 
um, combat music. Nice, nice, nice. Um, like, uh, like what happens in Breath of the Wild present day games where you have like either um, soft music or no music, but then uh, when the enemies show up, it switches over to combat music. This is this was in 1989. This is a this was a little head of the head of its time there with that um, regarding the use of music. I'm starting to like this already. <laughs> Get some money. Got 18 coin. Uh, what's my health like? Oh, okay. I guess uh, 30. Okay. This might be a bit. Oh, like the Zora. Um, the Zoras. They jump up. Oh, more bandits. But I am the one who is the bandit. Oh, my level rise. No, this doesn't seem to be based on a show. Maximum HP has become 58. Wow. From 30 to 58? That's a big jump. Memorize Pampu. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, I think this is original game. It's, uh, this is from Culture Brain. A very, very old company. Pampu. Ah, so that's the magic. Gotcha. Alright, let me list up the, the spells here. Um, Oprin. Oprin. And... Uh, Pam Poo, Pam Poo. Okay. Wow, what a good start. I leveled up almost immediately. And it, feel, and it feels very linear at the moment, so it's not, it must not be an open world thing. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, no. Based on a show, you know what? Let me check this out. Mm, okay. There you go. Mm. No, um, the plot is based on the folk tales around the 1001 Arabian Nights, the um, the 1001 Nights, the Middle Eastern folk tales. That's it. That's what it's based on. Uh, no TV show or anything. Yep, here we go. So, like Aladdin, that, um, those kind of stories. Looking bugs. Oh, cool. Get all the money. Let's get over here, you. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Must be the the next town. Oh, I thought that was uh, the next town. Hmm. Listen to the people of the town. Use the magic of Oprin. Okay. All right, but first we'll go through the town, heal up. Town looks the same as the other one that I was in. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Ouch, arg. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, that's hilarious. What? Koki. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, because I sliced them? That's why they're saying it, huh? Let me go... Let me go back in. That's... Is it permanent? Or is it, does it reset? No, it resets. Use the open here. Alright. Uh, Jad is saying something, some strange things lately. So, okay, if, you, if I hit them, they won't talk. They'll be like, oh wow, oh my, how dare you. Okay, we're in Rodoria. That, man. It's the little things that makes games so great, that can make games so great. Are you East West Descendant? If so, defeat Savaron. Mm, I heard the moving lake is somewhere in this world. When you defeat Savaron, you have your friends with you. Alright. How may I help you? We're gonna shop. Let's see. A carpet? What does a carpet do? That's not gonna tell me, huh? Can I get a discount? Okay, how about 30 rupees? Sure. Oh. Okay. Get out of here. You're a bad heckler. A uh, heck, uh, haggler. <laughs> um, how am I with the food situation, though? I don't know if I have food. What? Did that automatically um, heal? Um, get used? Alright, well. Let me just buy more bread. <gasps> oh, wow, so the prices increase. There were 20 bucks in the other town, now it's 60. Oh, this game's cruel. Hmm, PS3 games? Ah, oh, yeah, PS PS3 games are everywhere. <laughs> At least in my in, in my area, the PS3s are pretty much everywhere. Let's see, it was only what three years ago I found the um, found an unopened Sonic Unleashed for the PS3, scooped that up with no problem. It was all on the cheap. I still haven't opened it. <laughs> finding uh, finding those is not difficult. Ah, um, games have, well, PS3 games should be in working condition. They're, they're on discs. It's really the cartridges that, um, that tend to be uh, hit or miss because they're very, very old. Um, they've been beaten up by the constant slotting in from, uh, from their owners. Then, uh, then there's also the dust collecting if they're not well covered and you gotta clean those contacts off. Um, get all the dust and dirt off. Then you gotta hope that these game, those uh, cartridges um, work. He's the servant of Isfa. Find Farouk. He will be helpful. Okay, so we gotta find Farouk. Let me put that down. But with discs, the odds of finding uh, getting a bad disc, um, you would have to look at the the surface, because I had come across discs that were scratched up very badly. And so they wouldn't be played. So I have to get the maintenance and and um, specialists that have a special machine that like flatten gets rid of that the, all that scratch. I don't know how they do it, but they pull it off. They say there is a secret at the bottom of the moving lake. Okay, let me note that. Got to do this the old school way. Secret at the bottom of the lake. So. <clears throat> Yeah, you gotta, um, my, uh, my recommendation, if you, if you're looking for physicals and they're, they're old physicals, you have every right to ask for the game to be tested out. You should be able to, they should be able to test it out for you. 
uh, the store refuses to um, test it out, don't buy from them. They could sit there and put up signs and say all they want that they've tested the game. You have the right to look at it. I have seen collectors actually ask um, uh, employees at retro game stores to actually open up a Super Nintendo cartridge so they could look at, um, inside the circuitry and make sure they weren't modified. You don't have retro stores here. <gasps> You need to go to the city hall and demand for retro um, game stores. <laughs> it is a travesty. I'm surrounded by retro game stores in my region. Got like dozens all over the place here. I am called Jad and and a strange one I be. To the east and up here was a door which came free. But it's a long way. It's too far. Mm. eBay, what a crapshoot! <laughs> Cause that you gotta have that game tested out. Mm. Hopefully, um. um uh, if you get a bad one, you get the uh, you could be able to return it. But <laughs> and behold, fifty years in the past, I did see. It may sound like a dream, but I saw it. Trust me. Okay, so there's a mysterious door to the east. Let me go into the hotel. How much is it? I need to heal. Okay, cool. Yes. That was a weird sound. <laughs> Good morning, have a safe trip. Mm. Chad is saying some strange things lately. Fruit used to be in this world 50 years ago. If you go there, you can find him. Ah, uh, okay. So then that's what Jad is talking about. The door must be um, must be a time door. And I'll get to see uh, Farouk from 50 years ago. You see there's a secret at the bottom of the moving lake. All right, so it must be at the this moving lake here. Yeah, retro consoles, uh, retro games, retro consoles. Um, you gotta, you gotta really make sure that who you're getting it from is really, really reliable. Especially since most retro game stores don't like to do returns or exchanges. So you gotta make sure that they tested it out, um, test it out and everything for you. Use the magic of Oprin. Oh, um, over here. Oprin. Oprin Reef, uh, Oprin Winfrey. And you get a secret entrance, and you get a secret entrance, and you get a secret entrance. That's a whole classic Zelda staircase here. Excellent! Awesome! Everyone's got a guy. <laughs> Except with discs. Mmm. So you're having discs issues. Yeah, because they send it to you all scratched up, right? You need, you need to get that unscratched. This is the magic field. The person who planted a seed a long time ago will see a great harvest. Oh, I've seen that um, item though, the RC. Gotcha. The uh, solar eclipse. Oh, that this wasn't. Oh, so I get multiple lives. I get the. Uh, Well, they shouldn't even be selling unplayable uh, discs. They shouldn't be selling unplayable. Oh! Suddenly, JRPG. What happened? Wow. <laughs> Peace! P 
Peace. That's a funny way of saying run away. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a lot of zero threes. Yeah. Most definitely. Um. Oh. Um. Wow. This is crazy. That's a lot of double threes indeed. Uh. Select partner. This was random. It went from Legend of Zelda to Dragon Quest. I, I guess I fight alone. Fight. Trooper. Pampu. Who will you use the magic? On? Oh. Oh, that might be a healing thing. Okay. Oh, let's see. Who will you attack? Samrima. By two. Wow, I'm gonna take a hit from everybody. Wow. So basically, I have slow speed. Oh, this is weird. I just took all this damage. <laughs> what does a man? Wait, a se another one showed up? Okay, let me run. You have escaped. And now suddenly Zelda. <laughs> Wait, why is nothing happening? The Wow, this is a very interesting game. There it is. What the? Um, escape. This is a very interesting game, and I feel like... I feel like I wish this, uh, this came with an instruction booklet. <laughs> But your way has shut off. Oh! There we go. Corona, uh, Coronia is my partner. Serve again. Um, oh, select partner. Yeah, they do feel a little iffy. Um, do you want to serve again? No. Oh, oh here he is. Okay. Fight. Who you fight? Samrima. And... Samrima. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gosh, man. That's giving me the, um... Undertale vibes here. Where that magic just popped up. So that's uh, that's its health, huh? Hmm. But it seems to be random. Are you... <sighs> we just finished beating one. Now we get end up with another one. At least now I know I got uh, a partner to work with. <laughs> oh, this game is pretty cruel. Again? This thing needs to die. And I can't even select who I can hit. It's completely randomized. <laughs> yep. 
There we go. I feel like this game is doing way too much. They put in way too much in a, in a video game. It should have just stayed Zelda style. Bringing this into the equation. Especially with the way this uh, combat system. Queen hit. Huh. Uh, it's working right now. I don't know. I, I ain't liking it. I uh, hope it'll kill this off before... Dang it, it makes another call. Alright, just attack. I lost a lot of health on this one. Now I gotta run back to town. Defeated Samrima. Got 12 experience points and 30 rupia. Oh, I made it to another town. Okay. Here's the hotel. You better be 20. Alright, good. Yes. Alright. Oh, it uh, doesn't tell me how much I need to get to the next level. No, right? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> I gotta step back out so I can be able to talk to them. Did you find Farouk? No. This is the carefree people's village, Pompanol. Pon, uh, no. If you have Farouk with you, you will be safe by his magic power. Oh, thank you ah, for no the problem. follow, and welcome to the channel. Thanks for the follow, Angel. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Uh, Monday through Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Catch all, all kinds of variety stuff here and plenty of gaming. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Dogo said that a hero who was the descendant of Isva would save the town. Oh, you are the hero. There is an old lady named Dolgos, who foretells everything. Hmm, you are going to defeat Sabaro? I'm the fortune teller, Dolgos. Sabaron is waiting for you with fearsome demons at the palace in the bottom of the lake. Find the lamp spirit, Farouk, and jump into the lake from the North Cape. Prepare yourself, it'll be tough. <laughs> A casino? <laughs> hey, I hit it. Why don't you try it? I'm saving up because the hero's protecting it. Like, it's to the north of this town. Okay. But I need to get, um... This guy. Welcome to the casino. The thing you choose. We've a big bargain today. Enjoy yourself. But that is 60 rupees. Would you like to play this game? I'm sorry, but your money is not enough here, you poor, cheap little. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hmm. So I have to get doggos. I couldn't find the door that Jad was talking about. Oh, it's daytime? Okay. 
Melville appeared. Escape. You have escape. Cool. So apparently. All right. So apparently, when I change scene, um, um, scenes, change areas, that's when um, a random fight happens. That's very weird. Okay. So I found the North Cape. This is... Seriously, game? And this is just chapter one. Alright, so I gotta be careful. Very interesting that there's life, um, a, a life counter. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a track here. Yeah, let me just flip this over. Alright. So, I found North Lake. Dang it. Um, escape. But your way was shut off. Great. So I gotta fight this guy. Select partner. Yep. Cronia. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so Panpu recovers HP. That's good to know. What stinks is that they can heal themselves. Just great. Alright, let me at least spike these things and get some XP. Oh, this is annoying. So random for me to attack. Oh, got him. Okay. That's fine. It's just two on one now. Gone. Hey, there we go. And then 30 rupees. Hey, we got some bread. Cool. Charting out the maps now. Oh, these things again. Alright. Nope. Yeah, I feel like this game is doing way too much and overcomplicating what it's got going on here. Like, do we need this uh, J um, JRPG element? The Zelda element was fine, the Zelda gameplay. 
This feels more disruptive. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to town so I can heal up. There we go. Give me that XP. My level rises. There we go. Became 66. Good. Man magic points became 52. Offense power of the sword has increased. Memorize Boltor 1. That must be a spell. So let me add that. Boltor 1. Bolt. B O L T. T O R one. There we go. Voltor. Sounds like a Power Ranger villain. It's Voltor. Oh. Uh, sorry. I'm almost done. Let's see. H H H H E F G H. No, not that one. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? T H. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves both tour. Okay. So I need the name of this town. want the name of the town and also the heal. This is the carefree people's village of Poponoi. Okay, P-O-P-O-N-O-L. Pompanol. Okay. Alright, let's heal up. Yes. Get all that up. from the left. What's down here? Okay. Hmm, what's this way? More bandits. Got some mad loot out of that one. Okay. So does this circle... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get some money and XP going. Seventy coins. Up, oh, boss, uh, boss fight. Select 
partner finish fight. Okay, I feel confident I could fight these guys now that I leveled up. So I should be able to do three damage. Yep, there we go. Another level up, and these guys will be um, easy pickings. Although I should have brought my partner out. I thought I did. And I can't even run away. That's annoying. So, I guess um, I attack in order. Huh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, got a crit. Alright. Gonna go back and heal. I gotta remember to pull my partner out. Okay, cool. I still have the escape option. Alright, cool. Alright, points and 30 money. 30 rupees. Alright. Let me go and heal now. I'm at 107 experience points. And this doesn't tell me how much further, huh? And the thing is that this game is only the first chapter. <laughs> so how many chapters is this? Oh, that would stink. Oh, that would stink if I can't finish this because of the number of chapters. I want to beat this this week. I hope I can do it. No! Oh no, can I continue? Oof. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Well, there's a continue option. Alright, um. Oh my gosh, thank goodness there's a continue option. So I don't know where it's gonna continue me in, but let me just write this down. I can't believe I gotta write this down. Oh my gosh, this is so old school. Is there a reason why these passwords have always been this long? I've always wondered since I was a kid why they came up with these ridiculously long password things. Like, uh, consider it was 1989. Well, it was 1989. Uh, Zelda happened already, and battery bag data um, saving should have been provided. Well, at least it doesn't have those ridiculous characters and small letters like most um, uh, other passwords have done. But this is just too much. To cover. All right, let's continue. All right, still got my XP and everything. Okay, but I have no idea where I'm at now. Oh, 
I'm back here. Alright. Uh, Meshudo. end here. Yeah, let me wait till I get to where I died. It's crazy that falling into the water kills you. I think that's annoying. Is this it? No, not yet. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I know what that is. That's a person down there. This is what we want. here yeah okay all right let's go Gosh, I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, I found it. Let's go back 50 years to find for a good more room uh, in more room town through this door. Yes. There we go. So now I get him on my side. Because they said I can, uh, he could team up. Oh. Oh, is this? Oh, wow. Well, this is chapter one, but still, this will... I feel wowed by this right now. Oh wow, so there's, yeah, there's changes to this. So, let me set this up then. So 50 years ago, this was old forest. These towns didn't even exist yet. the magic 
magic field. A rupia tree will grow if you plant a rupia seed. Okay, I know where that is. I have to go back and get it at the town on the day of the Alalar solar eclipse. Would you like to do it? Yes. Please come back again with a rupia seed. Okay, I've seen that. It said R seed, so that's what that is. And it cost me a hundred. So I need a lot of money. Unless it's cheaper over here. This university, did you study there? Welcome to Rodoria. So here's Rodoria. to Doria. Alright, there's two of them. <laughs> Did you bury the rupia seed? No, I'm gonna have to do that. If you eat the rupia seed, you will become invisible. Okay. Welcome to the Magic University. The admission fee is 20 rupees. Would you like to take a course? Yes, please. Congratulations on your admittance. Now please select the course. Cygnus course, 10 rupees. Huh, so I gotta pay another 10? Oh, wow. Um, Alalar course. Now let's start the lesson. When Alalar solar eclipse occurs, it strengthens the power of blue star spirit. Arosh, the Arabian Garden deity, because it shuts out all the sun. This causes all kinds of favorable miracles in Alalar. These miracles can be maximized if you plant the Rupia seed during this period. For example, you would be able to use the great magic or win a game at the casino. <laughs> I will give you the scimitar to prove that you have passed the lesson. Good luck. Would you like to take another course? Well, sure. If I could get some free stuff. Let's do Monocom course. Now let's start the lesson. There are five wise men in Arabia. Each of them can give you the magic you need. Uh, Maroon's wise man. Oh, okay. Moment. Maroon's wise man. Uh, lives in a maze. Lives in maze. Uh, southeast of Virginia. You can give you the great magic called Otacon. However, you can use this magic only once during the Alalar Solar Eclipse. I'll give you the flame to prove that you have uh, passed the lesson. Alright. There's not much I could do. I needed more money. Like another course. No. Please return if you have the chance. Flame and Scimitar. Hmm. Hmm. Well, scimitar. Flame. There it is, flame and scimitar, huh? Cool. Alright. Fruit has 
been waiting for a new adventure in Horan. Baruch is in Horan. I can't believe this is only just the first chapter. How? That's a lot. We've just been waiting for a new adventure in Horan. Uh, they're all saying the same thing. Star, what brings you to my blessed mass? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to come back later for another password. Oh, okay. The full on flying corp that can take me other places. Moon Lake will engulf Horan soon. How sad. to the southeast. Oh, that's awesome. I, I actually deflected that. takes two HP to use? Cool. Yeah, it's just spamming.
Wait, didn't I? Hmm. Let me escape. Ah. Dang it. I'm trying to map this whole thing out here. Can I escape? Yeah. This is not good. I think I need to get out. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. This is a dungeon. automatic <laughs> and it just kept going my gosh by 32 can I escape yeah Tough. Escape. Ah, my way was blocked. Oh, okay. He's dead. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight over him. No, no, escape. There we go. I gotta revive him at the church.
That's so cool, I could deflect that. Oh. Ah, ah forget it. I'll just keep moving. And I should be getting next but I need to heal and get my um, partner back. Sure, 20, that's not bad. And thankfully I have uh, the money for it. I would have been so mad if I had to go and farm that. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Nah. We're done. Let's go uh, heal up. Where's the hotel at? So, I gotta stay away from... Stay out of that one dungeon. Oh, the healing thing? Uh, there's no hotel here? No, I can't afford this right now. I need like 30 of these coins. Mm hmm. Hmm. I really stink. There was no hotel. Alright. I have pond poop, so um, I can heal myself with that. Uh oh, there's the eclipse. I don't have the, the seed. Hmm, excuse me. I can't believe I'm tired out already. Oh, he's only got one hit point. I didn't real. I thought he gets full strength. That's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. There we go. Back in, uh, heal him up again. Got a hammer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's add that to the list. Mm, what does it go under? Item? Alright. Hammer. So sorry. I am really tired. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to call it. Crap, man. Mm. 
escape. What happens if I declare peace? Hmm. Alright, well, if it happens again, but right now, let me just heal a little bit. Get up to 48. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got I have a scimitar set. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second. Before I do all this password stuff. Yeah, bring the friend back to life. Kronya. Alright. Now let's get a password. to this uh, in the latest show. Anything else? Nope. I'm fine. Alright. I can't restore my partner's HP. Hmm. My pal. Hmm. Let me get bread. Bread um is automatic. Shop. Oh, there's the RC. How much is the RC? One hundred. All right, so I gotta get it up to one hundred. That's so the academy. Alright, so I can't bring my partner out to fight so I can get it healed. Falling asleep. I'm feeling it. All right, leveled up.
Memorize the Fini. I keep uh, keep up with the level grinding. <laughs> I can end up uh, being overpowered. But uh, nobody wants to see me level grind forever. This one updated. Here we go. Okay, Defini. The fact that this game changes between uh, Eclipse and non Eclipse is pretty crazy. Ugh, this thing. Um, oh, let me try peace. No, though. Okay, I'll take it for 30 rupees. Hey? Oh, wow. Alright. Cost me money, but cool. <laughs> so that's how peace works, huh? Trying to find a town with a hotel. There we go. Okay, we made it. town will be swallowed soon. Oh, we're here. Exactly my dear old town. Alright. This is Heron. Horan. Alright, found Horan. Now let's find Farouk and get him on the team. We are the strongest troopers. We will work for you for 100 rupees. Um, unfortunately I don't have enough. Come back again if you change your mind. Bye. No, no, ah. Uh. <laughs> the sinking town. <laughs> Even they acknowledge it. It's like, yeah, this town's sinking. I'm busy moving. Okay. Shuckle. <laughs> what we got in the shop here? Hmm. 
No, no. No, I don't want it. Let's, uh, let me just try and find food. He's a great magician. We defeated Gorgora with Ispa. He's there. Alright. We found him. Oh, he's a lamp. I'm the lamp spirit. Power. Gorky, you are the descendant of Ispa. You are my master. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Now let's begin our adventure. Baruch joined you. I'm just going to go in here. No one is here. That's why. <laughs> That's funny, no one is here. <laughs> okay, so I got Brook in my party. There he is. Oh, I just wish there was a way to heal. <sighs> What's over here? There we go, found the hotel. Everybody's gonna heal. Oh wow, this is real cheap, 10. <laughs> oh. Alright, let me get the... Password here. Oh, this isn't it. <sighs> okay, I'll have to go back to the other town if I want to get the password then. Wow. Well, Okay, we got a full party. We got ourselves a legit party. No. Fight. Okay. Jill Zade? Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm falling asleep now. I'm gonna have to um, call it. Now 
Alright, that's gone. Get to the next town so I can get that passcode. Sorry, I'm not talking right now. I am trying to fight sleep. Like, I feel like I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> like, I'm nodding off and I'm like, ugh, dream. <laughs> Just in time. Got 8 XP, cool. get to the passcode. That's cool. They got the, the waves, the sound of the watery waves. Hmm. 
Yeah, here we go. Password. Alright. So, there's some progress made. Thank goodness. I got Farouk. I gotta make sure that's a 6, not a G. W1DC, CA64, DM, RQ, L4DF, Q, everybody I'm gonna stop here I'm, I'm falling asleep <laughs> but um, did good good did good progress I found Farouk mm, found Farouk and now it's just a matter of um, then uh, what's next yeah having him with me then go to I'll have to do that maze in the southeast and meet the um, that wise man. That that one spot where the Medusa was in. I'm gonna have to do that on uh, on the next go. Get some XP going. So yeah, um, thank you all for joining me. Uh, this was um, this was Magic of Shahrazad. I'll be continuing that. Hopefully the passwords will work. I'll be so mad if it doesn't. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, follow. You know you want to. And with that said, I wish you all a good night, a buenas noches, and oye sumine say.